Hello, Slash. I'm Daniel Mauno Peterson. I'm from QA.tech. So, QA.tech, we're building the world's first AI QA tester. And uh, we're a team of 11 based in Stockholm, Sweden. Brilliant people, and we've been around for one and a half years. Uh, raised 4 million euros to date, and are focused on building, fixing QA using AI agents. So, what is QA? QA testing is, ensures a product meets requirements, works as intended, and is free of issues before release. It covers functionality, performance, usability, and compatibility. Sounds easy enough, right? It isn't. Testing is hard. And it's hard because today, web, modern web applications are complex, and they are made up of so many moving parts. It's not only the code base. You have so many other third-party dependencies. You have your cloud provider, your payment gateways, your tracking tools, your A-B testing tools. And all of that combined makes up for the user experience and what the performance of your product. And that when that performance goes down, it means lower conversion rates, more churn, and all these bad things. So, and of course, there's a bunch of automated tests already at the markets, but they can't really handle this kind of change and this kind of variance in products. So, this is the testing pyramid. It has looked like this since like the beginning of time. It starts at the bottom where you test isolated parts of code. And it's easy enough because they are isolated, it doesn't change it very much. But as complexity grows and you go up this pyramid, it becomes more and more manual and less and less test cases. And this essentially means that you are not testing what your users are experiencing. So we just started thinking, what if we could make an AI that figured out like what to test on a website for you? It had a, all the knowledge of an expert QA, and it could take human instructions and just perform those tests for you. And a test case could be something like this. Verify post functionality. Test that you can sign into WordPress, write a new blog post, and publish it. So we built just that. So our product works like this. You can enter any URL. So in this case, let's take WordPress.org. Uh, once you enter this, we, make, we start scanning that website. And we create this kind of graph, this knowledge graph about everything that goes on on this product. And based on this, this graph, it, it enables us to map out different user journeys and things, different functionality on this product and things you would like to test. So we, so we do run our test detection, and uh, we can figure out what to test for. So I'm going to show you a quick video here of our product and how it works. It's not high production grade, but it shows the real product as it is today. So it looks like this. Here you have a few different test cases. And if you click Add Test Cases, you get this whole list of things that we have discovered about the product. You can select one of these, or multiple of these, or you can write your own prompt. As you can see here, we select like 15 of them, and we can immediately start generating those test cases. So as you can see, we're already tackling one of the problems with this testing pyramid, and we can generate test cases immediately for you. What happens behind the scenes is that the agent uses this knowledge graph and figures out what to test and what the best practices are. And here's an example. We're going to use that example I said, uh, create a blog post about AI agents. It has understood that you need to log in to be able to post. So it first performs the login all by itself. And then it tries to write a post about AI agents. So it understands you need to navigate to the create the post page on WordPress. It figures out how to use the what you see is what you get editor. And it will type a blog post for you automatically, and it figures this out. And it's very good at you know generating text. We all know that about LLM, so it's easy for it to just generate different kind of test inputs. And it ends up with a published blog post that looks something like this. So, so why is this becoming more and more important right now? Today, large companies, they have one QA tester per four to five engineers. So it's already like a huge cost uh, situation for larger companies. And smaller teams, they just can't prior prioritize QA. They usually don't do it. We all heard about move fast and break things, right? I prefer if we only could move fast. So 
And as AI enable teams, we just continue to ship more. This problem will just continue to escalate. So there will be more need for testing going forward. So yeah, that's it for us. We are offering a month for free QA testing for everyone at Slush. Just use this QR code or check out the latest blog post on our blog. That's it for me. Thank you, Slush.